Okay, today we're going to talk about our customer list. It's super important that our customers have the correct shipping addresses. If you do not have a shipping address set for your customers in QuickBooks, um, then it will not pull into the service program. And then the software is kind of invalid at that point. Um, having a, an address for tasks, routes, mapping, um, having that shipping address is very important. So I'm going to kind of show you why, and I'm going to show you where to set this up and how to get our software updated if you need to do that. First thing is, when you first sign into the software, and if you don't know the default username and password, if you just purchased the software, the username is admin, and the password is admin, all one word, lowercase letters. Those are your default username and password to get into the software. When you first sign in, you get to this area. You want to go to Customer Info, Customer List. And here you're going to notice all of your customers will show up. Now the one thing you will see, some of them don't have an address showing, whereas some do. And I'm going to show you why that is. Let's take a customer that doesn't have an address showing, such as test three. I'm going to go ahead and double click this listed in blue. This will drill us into the customer detail. Now this area here, this address, is going to pull from this column every time. Yes, the software will show your billing addresses. However, we're service software. We don't care about the billing. That's what QuickBooks is for. We care entirely about the shipping because we are sending people out on their routes and on their tasks, among other things. We always use line two of the shipping address. So let me show you how to set this up in QuickBooks. First of all, we are the add-on to QuickBooks. QuickBooks is always right, and it is in charge. So if you need to add billing addresses, shipping addresses, emails, anything else um, that has to do with the main profile of the customer, you're going to want to do that in QuickBooks. So let me go ahead and open QuickBooks up, and I'm going to go to test three customer. That's the person we're looking at today. Now, I've already populated this one with a, uh, an actual billing address, but the shipping address is what we truly need. Now, the way that our software is going to read it, the shipping address is always going to be on line two, the second line in here. The first line is for your contact person, second line is for the street address, then you have a city, state, and zip. But we need this to show up in the ship area. So if you already have it here, you can simply click copy and make sure that it shows up exactly like a piece of mail. First line is your contact person or place it's going, second line is the actual address. If you did not have anything here, I would recommend populating it anyways, or if it's different than the billing address, you can click the plus button and fill the information out here, and then make sure it looks like this. Once it does, click OK. And then the very next step is, we have QuickBooks complete. We need to get the uh, service program updated with those addresses. So your next step should be to click Update QuickBooks. And if you have the desktop version of QuickBooks, this is going to work for you. If you have the online version, we will have another video for that. To pull that change from QuickBooks into the service program, click the Update Only Customers button, and then say yes to do this. Now the syncing will take a minute. You'll notice at the bottom you get a little uh, thing saying running query, fills up with green. Um, this may take five minutes. It just depends on how many customers and how slow your network is. It's entirely network driven. Our software has no limits or caps on how fast it's going to work. It's, it comes down to computer, network and where QuickBooks sits also. So if you're having issues with that, contact our tech support department by clicking chat now. But really, if it only takes a couple minutes, that's absolutely normal. If you have 50,000 customers, it may take 20 minutes. It just depends on your network. Anyways, we've done that sync. So we can go to customer info, customer list, and there's test three. You'll notice it's now populating an address. You'll need to do this for every customer in the software. You don't need to do it all at once. Let's say maybe you're not going to use 100 of your 200 customers. Maybe they don't have tasks or routes or anything right now. You can wait and add them at one by one later if you'd like, um, but it is maintenance that has to get performed because if this information doesn't exist here, then it's also not going to tell your drivers where to go when you assign a task to them. They won't have a valid address. Additionally, if you assign routes or if you try to use the web mapping, the system can't pull a valid address, it's not going to know what to do. So this is one of the most important pieces of our software, and I would highly recommend that that's one of the first things you do, because without that, 
the software is going to be kind of rendered a little invalid unless your drivers know their route a million percent. Anyways, that's all you have to do. If you have to make any changes to anything in the customer itself, make them in QuickBooks, sync it into the desktop.